What's up, my wonderful world of YouTube? My name's Chris. This is Motivated Living. Y'all are tuned in to another episode. Wow. Two days in a row. That place downstairs must be freezing over. <laughs> I appreciate y'all joining me. Thanks for tuning in. As you see the two bottles in front of me today, I'm going to be doing somewhat of a comparison for y'all. We've got a bond. We've got a creed. Sit tight, I'll be right back. Now turn up. Hey, welcome back. Today's Thursday. Cold and rainy here in Indiana. It's been beautiful out these last couple days. Almost to the weekend. Not a bad day. I hope everybody's been having a good week so far. I'd like to say I'm doing well, a little bit better. It's been a continued battle for my own mental health, battle in the depression. Been doing a lot better here these last couple days. So I've decided to take some time for myself and it's helping. And I've been productive cleaning and whatnot and tinkering. And so moving forward, I'm gonna talk about Creed, Silver Mountain Water. Boom. And I'm going to talk about bond number nine, Hamptons. Two fragrances that I tell people, as I do decants, are very similar. Yet they're different. Yet they're similar. Yet they're different. Wow. So let me jump right in. I sprayed these guys approximately three hours ago, one on each side, just to make sure before I came talking to y'all. This side has the creed. This side has the bond. I detect similarities. I really do. Um, very close. One seems to be a little loud, louder and stronger. The other is a little more muted, but not. Still lasts, still projects. I'm gonna read what I the notes I jotted down from Fragrantica, because that's what I do. Uh, I'm not no full-time reviewer. I love fragrances and I like to talk about them. I love introducing people to fragrances. It, it's a great feeling to see somebody discover the love and the happiness from the smell goods. So, without further ado, I'll start with Creed, Silver Mountain Water. Receives a 4.2 out of five on the Fragranica scale, came out in 1995. I had no idea it's been out that long. But back then, the only fragrances I really knew were like Tommy and stuff like that, you know, and Nautica, the OG bottle. And, um, really wasn't too serious about my fragrance journey at the time. It didn't sweep me off my feet yet. It's considered an aromatic. Top notes of bergamot, mandarin orange. Your mid would be green tea, black currant. And your base has musk, pettigrain, sandalwood, and galbanum. I guess it's the the tea that gives it that inky note, but I'm not sure. Again, I'm not an expert. I do know I like this fragrance a lot. It grew on me right away. It was my first niche fragrance. This and Green Irish Tweed were the first two I went with. They weren't designers. Feels like just yesterday, guys. Still going, that inky opening and I say inky because it kind of gives you that fountain pen, ink, squid, squirt smell in the opening. Not in a bad way. Uh, it took me about two wearings and I was like, whoa, this is a fragrance that my wife tells me I smell pretty when I wear it. Yeah, pretty. Hey, right. So, um, I don't know if I'd describe it as pretty. It gets compliments. It lasts. This one is the louder of the two, in my opinion, a little more in your face, but there's just something about it. I absolutely love this fragrance and it is one that I keep in my collection and I do reach for often, even sometimes for bedtime, put it on about half hour before I go to bed because she says it smells pretty. <laughs> Not offensive, in my opinion. I believe it would be safe for the office. I believe it would be safe for, I don't know about the gym. I don't know about fragrances in the gym, really, because you're going in to get all sweaty, unless you have something that amps you up and uh, um, 
that's just me. I don't know. I haven't seen the gym in a long time. I, I exercise at home sometimes, and I do what we call soup curls, you know. And so, I like this one a lot. I really do. Out of the two, this is the one that's still going really strong on me. It, it's still doing its thing. It's easy to pick up. Uh, the bond on the other side, I did two sprays to each, each side. The bond's still there, just not as... Um, it's not booming like the Creed is. Let me tell you about the Bond. Bond number nine. Bond. James Bond. Bond number nine Hamptons. Only got a 3.85 out of 5 on a Fragranica. It came out in 2005. It is considered a floral aquatic. Uh, top notes are bergamot and lime. Uh, linden is said in between the lime. So lime, linden, blossom. Lemon, sage, and cedar. Uh, your mid is jasmine, Turkish rose, magnolia. Your base is musk, sandalwood, and amber. This one seems to lean a little more fresh to me. Uh, I definitely pick up the rose. It has that inky vibe to it like the Creed does. I think that's where I get that similarity to it. Uh, this is a more floral version while this is a more fresh type version. Um, clean and this is clean too I, I believe this would be more suitable as a unisex fragrance where men and women could both better enjoy this one where this one i feel is more masculine uh, i think this is more masculine too but i believe both sexes could appreciate and enjoy this one more so than the creed um usually the bond caps are on pretty good i don't know what's going on with this one it did come from a trusted source, so I have no idea. I didn't drop it. You may have. Whatever. It happens. I'm worried about the juice. They both have decent atomizers. I'll put one in the air just to have my garage smelling good. Of course, the Crete atomizer is, <laughs> whew, as you see, takes the cake. Bonds, for some reason, get a lot of hate. I'm not sure why. <clears throat> Maybe because they say a lot of them are similar to others. Uh, they're overpriced for what's considered a niche fragrance. Um, really nothing special, but I like this one quite a bit. I reach for this one fairly often. Um, I like how the rose is done in this. I can detect it, but it's not a you know, a flower store type rose. It, it, it's kind of a synthetic type rose, but it's blended very well. They did a good job with this one. Uh, now, my favorite rose fragrance remains Amouage Lyric. It kind of has that synthetic rose, a little bit of metallic type tinge to it. I like that one a lot. Um, this guy here, it's not projecting really loud, but I do notice the times I've worn it before, it lasts on my clothes forever, like I'll smell them in the hamper. I smell a lot of them in the hamper when I'm doing my laundry. Um, on the skin, it's there. I can smell it all day long. I just have to hunt for this guy more than I did for the cream. So that's really about it. The, the inky, the inky vibe is still there. Not sure why. It's enough to make me think of the other. When I first got this and sprayed it on, I didn't even research. I worked out a trade with somebody and I got it, sprayed it on. I'm like, hmm, that seems kind of similar. And I went and grabbed the Silver Mountain Water and I ran it by my wife and daughter. My daughter likes this one more. My wife likes the Creed more on me. The opening's a little smoother, all in all, on this one. And this one here is more just, I'm grabbing you by your pant, your belt loops, and you're gonna listen to me. Both are beautiful fragrances. If I had to throw away one and keep just one, it would, I don't wanna say unfortunately, but for me, it would be the Creed. If I, if I could only buy one of the two. And through the people I work with, I'm sure some of y'all work with some of the same ones, the creeds and other niches aren't so unobtainable by everybody. They're more affordable than 
most would think in a mainstream level. You know, I never do retail and I just don't, unless it's a Chanel. Uh, I don't know anyone who discounts Blue Dish Chanel and things like that, your Platinum Egoist. Or, um, but all these other niches, I have people I go to that I trust. I know it's quality juice. There's no nothing to worry about ever. So, and I think that's it in a nutshell. That's all. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. I'm about halfway through the bottle. I'm still, if y'all want to give it a whirl, I do do decants of them. I would probably be able to do another 10 mil or maybe two 10 mils out of this. And I'm going to keep the rest for me so I don't run out. Because I do like it. It's enjoyable. Time and a place to where this is more of a, I don't know, a church, you know, you're going to the church or something, or, you know, you're in an office meeting where it's there, you smell good, it gets compliments, people like it, it's mass appealing, in my opinion, anytime I've worn it and been around people before all the masks, I've been asked what I've been wearing, I've been told it smells really good. Uh, get thumbs up on both of them from my wife, which has been hard to do on all my fragrances. There's plenty she she doesn't like, but I love like Carlisle, for instance, and uh, Grand Soir. She doesn't like them on me. They're too loud for her, and she has COPD. The Black Phantom. She doesn't like Black Phantom. I love it. Other people love it. So there it is in a nutshell. I appreciate y'all stopping by. I just wanted to talk to y'all, trying to get back in the mode of doing this again. So there it is. As always, thank you. Y'all have a great day. I got it on the thing, so I'm not gonna beg you to like. Yeah, like, hit that like button, man, come on. I see all these views with a couple thumbs up. Just go, just hit the thumbs up. Just say, I love you, man. Here's a thumbs up. Y'all are already subscribed, but if you're watching for the first time, feel free. I can't promise you diamonds and pearls, but, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> I keep it real. Have a good day, y'all. Be blessed. Peace.